Hi everyone, you are welcome to the Making of a Mathematician series 1A. Today we are going to be solving simult simultaneous equation that is displayed on the screen. S raised to power y plus y raised to power x equals 17 is the first equation and x plus y is the second one. So from 2, from equation 2, make as the subject of formula I'll have s to be equal to 5 minus y. Call that equation 3. Substitute 3 into 1. Substitute 3 into 1, we have um, equation 1 is s raised to power y plus y raised to power s equals 17. So let's replace, anywhere you see s put 5 minus y, I have 5 minus y raised to power y plus y raised to power 5 minus y is equal to 17. I'll take 5 minus y raised to power y is equal to 17 minus y raised to power 5 minus y. I brought this to the other side. I brought this to the other side. So I'll take the lean of both sides. Lean of 5 minus y raised to power y is equal to lean of 17 minus y raised to the power of 5 minus y. From the law of logarithm, because lean is logarithm, if you have log a raised to power b, that b can come here, it becomes log b log a rather. It will become b log a. So um, that's what I'm going to apply here. I will have y lean of 5 minus y is equal to lean of 17 minus y raised to the power of 5 minus y so i divide both side by lean of 5 minus y so that y will now be equal to lean of 17 minus y raised to the power of 5 minus y all over lean of 5 minus y so in numerical analysis, there is something called the fixed point iteration scheme. That's what I'm going to use now using the fixed point, the fixed point, using the fixed point iteration, using the fixed point iteration scheme. And what's that saying? In numerical analysis, fixed point iteration is a method of computing fixed points of iterated function that is you will have to, you will need to write the function this way since i'm dealing with y here that means i'm going to write my function this way y n plus one my equation this way y n plus one to be equal to f of y n so i will have this just pay attention and if you have not if you don't if you don't have an idea of fixed points before now just look at what i'm doing you are going to get it still so this one will be y n plus one and then everything at the right hand side all the y's there will be y n i have lean of 17 minus y raised to y n raised to power 5 minus y n close the bracket all over lean of 5 minus y n so the next thing I'm going to do now, you will pick a starting point. In reality, the starting point is always zero. That is why not. You say let y not be zero. So let y not be zero. So if you put n to be zero in this equation, if you put n to be zero in this equation, for anywhere you see n put zero. I will have y 0 plus 1. This one will be 0 plus 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. Is equal to lean of 17 minus y naught raised to the power of 5 minus y naught all over lean, lean of 
5 minus y naught but y naught is 0 so put 0 I have lean of 17 minus 0 raised to power 5 minus 0 5 minus 0 will give me 5 0 raised to power 5 will be 0 so all over lean of 5 minus 0 so the answer will be lean of 17 over lean of 5 lean of 17 over lean of 5 if you using your calculator you have 1.760 so I wish to round off to 3 decimal place so I am running off to 3 decimal place so that means y1 now is 1.760 you can also do y2 that is in this case now y um, n is 1 instead in this case n is 1 so I have y2 to be equal to lean of 17 minus y1 raised to power 5 minus y1 all over lean of 5 minus y1 so this will be equal to lean of 17 minus what is y1 y1 is 1.760 1.760 raised to the power of 5 minus 1.760 all over lean of 5 minus 1.760 you will also use your calculator on this you are going to get 2.021 are we going to stop we stop when this when what we are doing converges and what do i mean by converge it converge when when what you have if you are getting the same answer you stop when you are getting the same answer so we go to y3 y3 will be equal to lean of 17 minus y2 raised to the power of 5 minus y2 all over lean of lean of 5 minus y2 so this will be equal to lean of 17 minus 2.021 raised to the power of 5 minus 2.021 all over lean of 5 minus 2.021 so this will be equal to this we are going to obtain 1.999 if it, so I would similarly I would do like that for y4 as well y4 will be equal to by the time you do for y4 you put 1.999 in this thing you are going to get 2.000 and you check for y5 by the time you put y5 you will still have 2.000 so that means that it's uh, since I have the same answer I'm going to stop therefore I will say therefore therefore y is 2 so to get s from equation 3 from 3 we can get s from 3 from equation 3 we have s to be equal to 5 minus y and that is 5 minus 2 5 minus 2 will give me 3 that is what I'm going to get so therefore so thus or oh, I have s to be equal to 3 and y to be equal to 2 that is the first answer actually so if you look at the if you look at this very well if we replace s with y and y with s if we replace s with y and y with s in this equation if you replace s with y and y with s you will still have the same equation because this one will become y raised to power s plus this one will have, this one will become y raised to power s plus s raised to power y equals 17 and this one will be y plus s y plus s equal 5 as you can see 
so nothing has in reality they are they are actually the same they are equivalent to each other so that means if i make if i replace s with y and i replace y with s what i'm i'm going to solve all the way by the time i solve all the way down you will notice that at the end of the day replacing if i replace s with y and y with s you can see that i did not change the equation the equation will not change so that means in this case i'm going to replace this s with y that means y is 3 and i'm going to replace this y with s s is 2 you can see i have one since i replace it from the beginning i replace it replace s with y and y with s you are going to have this which is exactly the same equation we solve so that means that all the operations we have done down till we get to our final answer we have all the operation we've done till we get to our final answer here you can replace it with it so therefore or hence the full solution will now be s equal 3 y equal 2 and or is supposed to be or not and or or s equal 2 and y equal 3 and that's the final answer to that simultaneous equation so i'm going to give you another one to do it is your turn to solve an equation it is your turn to solve so try this using this method i have done here try this and solve this let me see try it and solve on your own and uh, after this video you would have seen the link to for this solution the solution of this will be ready in the next four days so try it if you don't get the answer wait for the solution of wait for the solution thank you very much hi i'm Percy the math the making of the mathematician